What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 218 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. This week, the clean and minimal edition. We also got a special guest, Tusif, showing off his setup. You're gonna like that one. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below, so you can check it out. We'll kick it off now. All right, how y'all doing on this morning of July 5th? Hope you all have 10 fingers still. And waking us up today, we have Adrian S. Photography. And I am definitely all about this. I love that like DIY Ivy accent piece he has going up behind his monitors and up the wall. It looks really good. So, you know, definitely fits in. For his solar display, it's a 27 inch ASUS monitor, a 144 hertz panel. And then for his peripherals, he has a Logitech G810 keyboard with a Logitech G401 mouse on a nice leather mouse pad. And then for audio sitting there, you can see the headset, which is the Sennheiser PC360. And also off to the right side, he has an iPad Pro. It's the 12.9 inch model. Again, great for, you know, editing and stuff, photo editing, since a lot of this, as you can tell by his name, Adrian S. Photography, it checks out. So for his PC, that's the Be Quiet Dark Base 700 case with the nice blue accents all around. Inside's an Intel i7 9700K CPU with a Dark Rock 4 cooler, and then a Zotac RTX 2070 amp GPU. All the info we really have on the PC, and as you can see with this case, uh, the insides can actually be flipped and kind of do like a reverse build. Pretty unique. So I think Adrian all around nails the minimal and like cozy aesthetic going on. Lots of warmth as well with the cork board here. Obviously, not cork board, the peg board, you know what I mean. Uh, it just fits in with the theme, wooden desk. Again, love that touch of green with the ivy panel behind the monitor. If you wanna check all his gear out, obviously, as well as his Instagram, it'll be down below. Up next, we have Panadog, and this one stuck out to me right away because, again, you guys know me by now. It's been 218 episodes. You feel like you guys know me as well as I know me, you know what I'm saying? I think the point I was trying to make there, which didn't really end up happening, was uh, when I saw this, I knew it would be a good uh, fit for this episode. So for the display, that is a Dell 25 inch, it's from their ultra sharp lineup, and it's held up nicely on a monitor arm off to the left side, which is hidden. You can't really even tell. Got the phone dock there hiding it. For the peripherals now, the keyboard is a Cooler Master Storm Quick Fire Rapid keyboard. I feel like Cooler Master always just throws on 10 more words to their product lineup. Then the Logitech M510 mouse with the Audio-Technica ATH M50X BT headphones, so their wireless Bluetooth version. And those gorgeous white and walnut speakers are the Polk Camden AM6510A. Now over to the PC, this is the NTXT H1 case, and he went the extra mile to kind of customize that front panel to be an accented piece. Here you can see it's in walnut, looks really nice and fits in with the rest of the setup. Inside the Intel i5 9600K CPU with their own included AIO. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an ASUS Strix Z390i motherboard and a NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition GPU. So a super clean, white and walnut themed setup. I love the looks here. You even got the touch of green with the plant in the wallpaper. I will say maybe consider adding a real plant to the setup or even like a fake one. A Little bit of green never hurt nobody. Next we have Bianca, and you might remember her setup. I think we had her on probably close to a year ago at this point. This the 2020 version, and she's made some nice changes to the setup all around. Every time I see it, something about it just feels so refreshing. Maybe it's like the color theme and stuff, but I love it. It's like vibrant but chill at the same time. So for the display, we have a Dell 27 inch 144 hertz panel. This one also mounted on a monitor arm off to the right side, but again, a pretty good job of keeping it out of sight. And then for the peripherals, we have the Ducky 1-2 Mini in white with the Taihao Hawaiian keycap set and Logitech G305 mouse, also in white on an Artisan high-end FX mouse pad, nice and vibrant red here. And then for audio, Astro A50 wireless headset and the Kentu YU2 speakers. Gotta say, that's a hell of a peripheral lineup. And then over to the PC, this is the NZXT H500 case inside the Intel i5 9600K CPU with the NZXT Kraken M22 AIO. Got 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge motherboard. 
in the Asus Cerberus GTX 1070 Ti graphics card. And as you can see right above that on the wall, we have the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels glowing to the color theme, making it even stand out even more, kind of even highlighting the RGB inside the PC. So I'm gonna need someone to tell me, you know, what theme is this? Cause I know like I've seen the art style and everything here and she, you, Bianca, you nailed the aesthetic 110%, but I just can't think of like a proper theme name for it. Is it like, you know, the Hawaiian theme from the Taihao Hawaiian keycap set? Cause I can get some Hawaiian vibes. Either way, a beautiful setup. Next up, we have Jordan P, also a setup I found on Instagram and immediately fell in love with it. Something about, I think for me, the wallpaper. I've said it before, I've made an entire video on it, but a wallpaper can make or break a setup. You guys know I've said it a million times. And this ties it all together perfectly. It's super clean, everything is so well organized, and I love it. So for this setup, he's rocking an autonomous smart desk too with their autonomous kin chair. And for the displays, we have dual 27 inch LG 4K monitors mounted perfectly side by side. And for the peripherals, we have the wireless Apple Magic keyboard with the Apple Magic mouse. And right underneath that is the Delta Hub wrist rest, which I showed off a few months ago on Cooltech under 50. And yes, as you can see with those peripherals, this is all being powered by his 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro. In addition to his 2020 iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard for that, which you can also use literally hand in hand with their like sidecar and stuff. So you can pretty much use that as an extended display. And also on the desk, he has the Bose Mini Soundlink Bluetooth speaker for audio, in addition to the eight terabyte Lassi RAID hard drive. So again, I know people like to hate on Apple for whatever reason. End of the day, it's productivity, it's reliability, and it also leads for a beautiful, clean, and minimal setup. And I just love that pop of red and that like acid kind of wash wallpaper you got going on. Good stuff, Jordan, and I'll also put his Insta down below. Next up, we got Tusif. What's up, guys? My name is Tusif Hussain. Firstly, huge shout out to Frank for having me on here. It is an honor to be here. I kind of grew up watching these room tour projects, so it feels a little bit surreal being on one myself. So I make videos over on my channel called Tosif Hussain about tech, gadgets, filmmaking, and lifestyle. And that includes also a detailed version of what I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so the high level idea here was to build a natural, mobile, and minimal desk setup. I feel that a good desk setup tells a great story. A story about who that person is and what they value at that moment in time. For me, for example, that is reducing the clutter around me and embracing the outdoors more. Leaning into that is the centerpiece of this entire setup, which is the Bamboo Jarvis Standing Desk by Fully. I've customized it to have wire grommets, an OLED memory panel, a monitor arm, these super strong magnetic desk hooks, and a bamboo desk drawer. And my favorite feature, these wheels. So it can be fully mobile whenever I want it to be. So I can do stuff like this. Welcome back. Now further to the nature theme, right below where I stand is something called the Move Mat by Eris, which is basically designed to imitate and simulate the forest floor by including things like a bunch of bumps and shapes in order to massage your feet with. My chair of choice is the highly unconventional Capisco chair by Hegg, which was basically designed for those people who can't sit still and also like ergonomics. This whole setup is driven by my 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is stored inside this pen Elcom under desk lockable drawer. This is then connected to my monitor of choice, which is the LG ultra wide 5k display. Now as for my accessories up top, in order to complement the bamboo, I went with a slightly darker wood and black leather from Grovemade. And I did this in order to have that little bit of a pop of color separation. Lighting up my desk is my favorite aesthetic light, which is the bright tech circle LED lamp. Now, because I do a lot of voiceovers and sometimes I record podcasts, I have a Shure SM7B wired up to the cleanest boom arm I could find, which is the blue compass. Lastly, it wouldn't be a natural desk setup without some vegetation. For me, that comes in the form of a succulent, a cactus, and a majesty palm. All right, guys, that's it for me. If you want to see a much more detailed version of this, I have it over on my channel. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Frank. I really appreciate it. Now, back to you.
All right, guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 218 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. And a shout out to Tusif because that setup is gorgeous. Definitely a tech YouTuber on the rise. If you want to check his setup out, I'll have it listed for you in the description down below for his detailed video on his channel, as well as all the gear and hardware you saw. That'll be listed for you in the description as well. But if you like this one, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. Let's get ready for a room tour project!